going to say, I want this deck to be good, but if Kevin can't race, I turn for Gideon on the draw, then I'm skeptical. Yes. You know, my combo deck needs to be able to beat that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just bone saw crush of tentacles from Kevin. So <laughs> it's a combo deck. It's like, that's, like, that's a combo, you see. This is so good. He gets an 8-8. Eight, eight. He bounces everything. He bounces all these bone saws back to his hand. Oh, wow. And, and Jessup... Uh, Okay, so Jessup does have double white because he has the planes there. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was entirely possible that he might have needed the Oath and Nissa to cast Gideon again, but he, <laughs> he's, he's able to do it. Well, he does get the Oath back, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, this is so good. All right, what are what are you doing next? Why, you know? Well, he, he, he might just be going down to seven cards by casting this Ornithopter. He did just pick a bunch up. You're right, you're right. Good morning, players. Oh, Storm Counter. <laughs> All right, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I love it when this, we don't get to see this counter enough in standard. I'm such a fan. <laughs> One, two, here's Bonesaw. Yes, let's do this. Why didn't he use this for his Crush of Tentacles turn? It has Surge. See, I cast a spell. <laughs> we did, we did. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he equips. Now when you play a, the Cathar Shield, three. Oh, he's got Aetherflux Reservoir in hand. So I want to see how he sets up his combo turn. Okay, looks like just plays the three and says go. Left up four blue. This, to me, seems like he's going to block and paradoxical outcome everything. Yeah, looks a lot like that. This is so good. Just so good. You're looking at Andrew. That's the face of, that's the face of man who knows. Oh, man. This is... This is bad. I can't believe this is happening this to me right happening. now. <laughs> I don't know if this deck's real, but I think I might lose a game to it. <laughs> Gideon pluses into a 5 of He'll attack. It's interesting. This damage could matter. Mm -hmm. All right. He attacks Kevin down to 13. Jessup both trying to win the game and also getting in these chip shots for a significant amount of damage. It, it forces Kevin to cast more spells to actually kill with the Reservoir. This is so good. All right, so there's the Nissa that Andrew found. So plus a Mega Plant. But remember, I was actually surprised that Kevin took this damage. I thought he was going to block in Paradoxical Outcome. And here's Walking Ballista from Andrew. It's for one. I'm kind of surprised that Jessup hung his knight ally back and then cast Nissa in the second main phase. Like, he definitely yeah. wants to chump block with, uh, chump block that yeah. octopus, protect his planeswalkers. So here's Paradoxical Outcome drawing three and bouncing Kevin's things. So if this was his play, he could have gained five life, but that might not matter in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. Maybe the flexibility is better. I do see what you're saying, though, where... We'll see if any of Andrew's blockers matter, though, right? Well, Kevin doesn't know that Andrew's only answer to Aetherflux Reservoir is a sorcery speed spell. So right. now he knows that Jessup is tapped out, which he didn't do in his first main phase. All right, all right. We're, here we see Inspiring Statuary. Now everything has Improvise. Well, the non-artifacts have Improvise, and th there's no way for him to cheat costs on the Reservoir. I think right. everything else, yes. Yes. Yep, that one's always going to cost four. The 8 8. Kevin thought about attacking with his 8 8, but it's, that's not looking that good anymore. Mm -hmm. Plenty of uh, chump blockers hanging out over there. Amber, he can't get a card off that Kraken token because it is non land, non token permanence. Mm -hmm. But he has a draw four. He has that out outcome in his hand. Draw four is pretty good. Tap two islands for that effect. One island. One island. Sure. <laughs> Whatever, man. In case we draw into anticipate, <laughs> then we can cast it off the off off the statuary <laughs> and the other island. See, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> I, I got. Nothing. You're not thinking big enough. This this deck uh, it exceeds my <laughs> my skill as a player. <laughs> we go over to Andrew. Taps taps two here to crack a clue. Now he's looking at his attacks. He's still got four mana. For Ballista, he hasn't used Nissa yet either. Nissa and Ballista is a combo. Yeah, it's and it might be that Andrew wants to make that play to, to get rid of if 
Kevin casts Paradoxical Outcome, Andrew might blow up an Ornithopter in response. So, so here's the combo. He gets this card. He taps two islands, and he improvises the rest of the mana. He bounces Andrew's things, and then he puts the Reservoir into play off that second half of this card. Once the Aether Flux Reservoir is into play, he recasts all these zero mana cards and just gains, gains a lot of life in 50s Andrew. And Andrew casting Vergerous Gear Hulk. I think this makes a lot of sense. He just wants to... Put it all on the, on the, on the bal Ballista as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Nissa will minus. So this is the most damage he could push. It's the most aggressive line. Love it. Yeah, this seems great. I, th I imagine he'll kill all the Ornithopters in response to the Paradoxical Outcome. Just less cards, less cards, less cards. Yep. I mean, he either has lethal this turn or he doesn't. Ooh, he's going for this main phase. Well, hold on. If he removes all these blockers, it, it still does not appear to be lethal. Yeah, they're all getting bounced anyway. So he bounces all four cards, draws four. Yeah, and Jessup's concern, as you can see, was just with blockers. Yeah, Kevin you know, can draw those cards, that's fine. Ryan, I kind of wanted Andrew to kill all the Ornithopters in response to that card. Yeah. Like, I actually mind, what about you just like stop. all four counters, kill both Ornithopters, you only draw two. You stop him from drawing more extra cards. You stop him from having ornithopters for the reservoir. I know that saying you're stopping him from having ornithopters sounds kind of silly, but I, I think it might matter here. That's the linchpin. Yeah. He needs a lot of spells to actually kill in the next turn, but uh, just having you know, five or six yeah. and gaining a lot of life is still really good for Kevin here. So a swing from Andrew Jessup. The Gideon is blocked, and it looks like Kevin takes... Four from the four, five, six, seven, eight damage goes to five. Only four counters on the archive, so he's a one. <laughs> that five and a virtual one if Andrew wants to make it that. And Andrew's already used all of his mana, so he can't produce another counter for the ballista. Yeah, he's going to finish off the octopus token. That's fine. So now Kevin's just got to win here. You got to win now, Kevin. Show us what your deck does. <laughs> Look at all these bone saws and reservoirs and ornithopters. He's got some crush tentacles in his hand. When you have this many cards in your hand and any number of them are bone saw and you're not winning, your decks, your decks, you're not doing it right. Pretty skeptical. All right. Aetherflux Reservoir. We're going to gain some life. All right. Storm is one. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. It's game time. Bone saw. All right. Uh, gain two up to seven. This is great. Bonesaw, gain three. So what we're looking at here, because starting with a second spell, if he can play nine spells this turn, he will gain 44 life, and 10 spells will gain 54 life. Your math checks out. Well, I should hope so. I assume. I, I didn't, I didn't I, actually double so check. I was, yeah, I like, I did. <laughs> so this is a total of 14 yeah, life gain. So he's played five zero mana cards after the Reservoir. So we'll make that 12, 20 gained. These are triangular numbers, if you're, one, if you're following with us. That could mean anything. I, just, I could have just made that up. <laughs> and Barrel's expertise, this is great. He's bouncing three of his own artifacts Ooh. to his hand. And I think if this resolves, he's going to put another reservoir into play, which is definitely lethal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, no. This is really lethal. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is spell number seven. He can, Okay, Andrew's saying, no, no, no. Kill some of your things in response. Stop. If Stop. you were wondering what Barrel's expertise is. It's going to win. It's, it's going to it, win it, so much. It's combo killing. That's, that's what he uh, excels so at. So those bounce, and now we can put something to play. How about another reservoir? Boom. That doesn't... So he doesn't actually get that storm trigger off it, because he... No, no, you may cast. Yeah, it counts. It counts. Okay, so now this one gains... Nine twice against 18. Now, yeah, that's game. Right, Kevin Davis takes that one. Yes. Going to game three. We did it. I'm not, I don't know if it's the best deck in the format. Oh, it's got to be. It's just this. He broke it. But I want to watch, watch this all day. <laughs>